Gary and I have made our way back to Dreamer's Landing. Oh, What's up, Lisa? Oh, man. So we are back over here because uh, somebody's husband got injured. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's <Yep>. normal, though. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Mike had a Drifting Dreamers down moment. Hey. Um, the last time we were out here, we were doing a lot of clearing. We moved the passport. You guys saw that on the last video. Uh, but since then, an accident happened. But we all pulled together. The Fram Bam is here. It's going to be action time. We are going to make sure that their sheds are going to be able to be delivered here to Dreamers Landing and they're going to be able to move forward with their build. So I just want to say they are amazing. The whole family is amazing. Love <laughs> you all. <laughs> the squirrel symbol went out into the air and then everybody was like, all right, assemble. So there are so many people out here today, guys. I am sure by the end of today, it's going to be amazing for them. They're going to be able to be at a nice spot to have their sheds delivered and you guys can recover and rest and not be worried and not be stressed out. Breathe no. a little easier. A little bit easier. So I know the guys, uh, David's already up here. He's got Uber assembled up, ready to go up on the tree. Gary is ready to go. We got the new blades on the chainsaws. Um, and there are a lot of folks around here. It sounds like lift is starting to turn on too. So I'm gonna walk around, show you guys what's going on, show you guys the game plan, and then we're gonna make it happen. Let's do it. So Lisa, last time we were out here, your guys' passport was right over there. Right, right there. Yep. And then we moved it over here, as you guys can see. And then Mike had his accident over here. So what happened? So we had a big tree he tried to cut down. Well, it didn't fall, you know? Yeah. And so he tried to cut down another tree to like land on it to see if it would break it. Well, that tree also didn't fall oh. all the way. So by the time he got to the third tree to cut it, his saw got stuck. Oh no. So he went and got another saw and unfortunately he was standing on the wrong side. Oh no. <laughs> and when he went through the, the log rolled back on him and hit him up in his hip first. Then he tripped over um, some more little limbs on the ground and then it pinned him on his legs like he was on the ground and his legs were stuck and that's so terrifying man i'm sure you were absolutely terrified uh, yes yes i'm a pro at that though at emergencies <laughs> when it comes to michael so i it's a little easier for me to keep calm yeah <laughs> when things like that happen but me and the kids got jack we jacked up the tree we got him out and we dragged him to the truck and got him to the er well thank so. god that uh Nothing is seriously wrong with him. It's some bumps and bruises and that he'll be all right. Yes. Let's hope he learned um, an important lesson through this. Yeah. Because it definitely could have went a different way. Everybody at home that is watching this and that is praying for our safety today, I really appreciate it. Everybody here appreciates it. Whether you know it or not, you're helping that out. So over here, uh, Lisa, I can see you got a couple of trees that are marked out that we're going to need to get out of the way. Yep. They're pretty big. And then Uber's already on this one. Yep. I believe this is the first one that's going. Okay. Today. The first one. Yeah. And then down the road, um, you actually, you can see it's all Grady's over there. We got the Grady's, we got Dogman, Bobblehead, O'Rourke's Little Field. I'll go and show you guys everybody's plan and what we're all doing. But I know that right now it's gonna be divide and conquer. They're gonna be using lift to go down the road and get rid of a lot of the potholes. Cause there's, um, I don't know how well it shows on the camera, but there are several pretty good whoop de whoops on the road that need to get fixed out before the, the big shed can get delivered. Right. So, but it's gonna be a good day. Yeah, I'm excited. It's gonna be a very, very good day, honey. And by the end of it, you guys will be sitting pretty and you guys can just wait and no stress. Yes. Yes. The, I get, the stress is easy. It started yesterday with Uncle David. <laughs> <laughs> it's easy. Yes. <laughs>
Well, I'm finally able to grab Mike. He's been crutching his booty around the whole property. Man, crutch around. I never <laughs> thought crutching around would be so tiring. <laughs> well, we're trying to get him to relax and let everybody handle everything. So, um, what is the objective today? I've kind of pretty much said what I think it is, but this is your property and it's your deal. So what's going on today? So, main objective is any other trees that I feel like may be a, a threat in the future for the house, I want to go ahead and get them down, even if they don't get uprooted or the stumps taken out, at least get them down. Right. Um, also, if we have time, I would really love to do the fence line um, and none of those have to be uh, uprooted or pull the stumps out as long as they're down itself. Okay, for the view, right? Uh, uh, yeah, correct. And, uh, and as we speak right now, for the very first time, Kevin with Aurora's Little Field is on a tractor oh. and he's using lift to run the box blade back and forth to work the road. Heck yeah. Man, and right now we got Marcel with It's All Grady over there cutting the stumps that I had left up low enough so that when the shed comes through, none of the stumps get hit. Heck yeah, man. man go team, go. <laughs> this is absolutely amazing. Thank you guys so much. Oh man, we love you, bro. We love you, bro. Well, hey, the guys already made quick work of that tree. It was once there, but it's gone. Yep, and Gary's already cut that stump all the way through. Uh, Uber's just gotta just touch it and it's gone. Yeah, nice and flat. Yeah. Heck yeah, man. Well, your road isn't too bad, but it does need some loving on it. You said O'Rourke's is on there? Yep. Uh, whenever it rains, it still puddles up a bit. So what we're trying to do right now is flatten it back out one more time so that tomorrow Uncle David can switch to the bucket and use the bucket and drop the rest of the shale that I have and get prepared for another two, possibly three loads of three quarter inch clean to get ready for the pad and maybe put some right here. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Getting close. It's getting close. We've, we've also, uh, we've changed the date. I reached out to the company that was gonna deliver the shed and uh, it was supposed to be delivered on Saturday, but because uh, we're getting a heavy amount of rain, possibly Thursday and Friday, we pushed it back to next week. And uh, the people said they would call me Monday morning to let me know what day. Well, that actually works out really good because of everything, you yeah. know, and it gives you a little bit more time. We'll be 100% ready. I will say though, I ain't trying to add no more pressure or anything, but even with the move, we're still in single digits. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about pressure. No pressure. No, no pressure. No pressure. <laughs> that's all right. You got the best team that's going to make it happen. Look at that. That's less than less than 10 minutes. One of the biggest trees in my yard has been dropped, cleaned, cleared, and it's ready for the next one. Heck yeah. Hey, Jamie. Hi. What's going on, girl? I'm going to go wax the vines. So I didn't know the gritty were coming. I didn't either until yesterday. You make it look easy, Kevin. You make it look easy. Yeah.
guys, it's going down today. They've got a bunch of trees cut up and limbed up and pushed out of the way over there. The road has steady been getting worked on. I mean, it looks so much better from just when we first got here. Still has a ways to go, but check it out. The road is definitely getting there. It is so nice to be able to have so many helping hands on one project, everybody doing something to push this thing along. The road is looking great. Uh, I know Marcel and Bobblehead are getting their pull saws together so that way they can hop in the back of the truck with Dogman, who's gonna be driving up and down here. They're gonna be limbing everything up. Kevin is over on lift, driving that tractor up and down the road, uh, flattening everything out. And now I think Gary and uh, David are gonna take down a couple of these extra big ones um, and finish getting this stuff out of the way. It's coming along really, really nice though, guys. I am so excited for them. I know they're super excited and um, it's just been a great day together getting all this work done. So let's keep it rolling. Marcel gonna go get them tree limbs. Yeah. Heck yeah. Dogman's driving. That was So what's the plan? So uh, plan, plan game on. We're gonna take out these first, uh, these first five and a piece. And Uncle David's gonna take Uber all the way around and use Uber to push on them this way. That way when Gary cuts it and knocks them out, they fall on our side of the property. And that way it'll be so much easier to be cleaned back up. Heck yeah. You ready, Gary? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm ready. Always ready.
All right, you guys. Well, it's the end of the day. This is the only crew that's left, but there were so many people out here putting it in for Mike and Lissa. I want to say thank you so much to everybody coming out here and helping them while Mike was Crutchmaster 5000. <laughs> As you guys saw, Gary and David, they really put a lot of work in over with the taking down the trees. You guys put in so much work with the roadway. Everything is just looking absolutely amazing and it's ready for them to get their sheds. Thank you guys so much. So, what do you guys got left to do now? You guys got to throw some Visqueen down. Country Road Cure did send that with me, so you guys got to put that right down. Yeah, oh, right over there. Yeah. <laughs> yep. We uh, so we have to get the ground leveled out a little bit better. We're gonna put the Visqueen down. We got to get some rock out here. Drop the rock. The rock has to be leveled up. Uh, Uncle David still has to shale the road still a little bit more. Oh, more, more tractor work for you, David. Yeah, I'll be all day on Uber again tomorrow. <laughs> me, and, me and Uber are like Avatar. We just... <laughs> yeah, and, uh, and with the rain coming at the end of the week, we've had to push uh, the arrival date from Saturday the 11th until next week. So at least uh, the water should be able to dry up enough to get it in there. Hey, I would actually take that as a blessing from above that it's uh, actually going to be coming. I know it might not seem like it, but pushing the dates around, you getting hurt, everything is working out for good. You just have to keep that mindset, man. Yep. Just keep that. It's Everything's going to work out and it's all going to work out for good. So, But today was a great day. Thank you, Grady's, for coming on down, man. You guys put in a lot of hard work today, too. It was definitely a team effort. Yeah. And it was fun. Yeah. yeah. It was fun. It was always fun. It was fantastic. That's, yeah. that's right, man. Well, we're actually going to be getting on home. Um, the Gradens are going to come on by and hang out with us for a little bit and check out all the work that we've been getting done over there. Um, but we're going to wrap this one up. So I want to thank you guys so much for hanging out with us today. And as usual, friends, until the next one, we love y'all and we hope you have a good one. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye, you guys. Later, later.